The emergence of the term reactive power is explained by the necessity to single out power consumption by the load, a component that forms electromagnetic fields and provides motor torque. This component is present in case of inductive load nature. In electric circuits, when the load is of active resistive nature, flow and current is co-phased. It is neither ahead nor behind with voltage. When the load is of inductive nature, motors, idle transformers, the current is behind voltage. Capacitive nature of load capacitors means the current is ahead of voltage. Reactive power does not generate mechanical work, although it is required for motor operation. Therefore, its large local production is needed to avoid consumption from energy provider. Thereby, load on wires and cables is reduced. Voltage in motor terminals is increased. Charges for reactive power are minimized and the possibility of connecting extra machine tools is ensured due to reduced current consumption on the power transformer. Reactive power is used by transformers, asynchronous motors, induction furnaces, etc. All powerful using equipment of an, at an enterprise must be equipped with filter compensating devices, FCDs, using equipment with high unit power and abruptly variable loads, arc furnaces with furnace transformers of 100 megavolts and above must be equipped with static thyristor compensators, STCs. This will ensure high degree of required reactive power stabilization with phase-by-phase -phase regulation, as well as reduction of high harmonics in the grid due to filter compensating circuits, FCCs. The use of STCs provide extra operational benefit as well. For instance, STCs in grids that supply power to arc steel melt and furnaces, SMF, S, helps increase arc stability and boost furnaces productivity by 10%. On top of this, other less critical enterprise power grid segments must be equipped with adjustable reactive power compensation units, RPCUs, with electromechanical stage switch. RPCUs in industrial power supply systems of 6 to 10 kV serve to maintain voltage on 6 to 10 kV bus bars during voltage dips caused by short circuits in 110-35 kV circuits. They limit voltage fluctuation on 6 to 10 kV bus bars and filter compensating devices FCDs composed of capacitances and reactors help produce harmonic components during which power factor is also improved. For main step down substations it is recommended to use reactive power compensation units that is controlled shunt reactors with vacuum gas insulated circuit breakers with increased commutational life and synchronous commutation device increase of 110 kilovolts inclusive. The most instrumental and efficient method of reducing reactive power consumption from the grid by 0.4 to 10 kilovolt electric installations is to use adjustable condenser type RPC used directly on 0.4 kilovolt low voltage switch gear bus bars of transforming substations. An example of Peru is the proof of economic expedience of installing reactive power compensation units. A 37 megawatt compensating unit helped save 280 kilovolt per hour kilowatt or a total of about 19,300 megawatt per hour annually.